A car dealership sells zero, one or two luxury cars on a day. When selling a car, the dealer tries to persuade the customer to buy an extended warranty. Let X denote the number of luxury cars sold in a day and Y the number of extended warranties. So we have this data. Calculate the variance of X. So for the variance of X, we would need the probabilities of X taking whatever values it's taking. So X can take values zero, one, or two. So we need those probabilities. So X can take values zero, one, or two. And we look from here that X is equal to zero occurs only here. So X is equal to zero probability is one sixth. So we get one six for zero. And then for X equals one, x equals one occurs in these two values. So you add up these two values to get the probability for x equals one. So that's one twelfth plus one sixth. Yeah, one twelfth plus one sixth gives us one fourth. And then x equals two occurs in these three places. So you add up these three probabilities, one twelfth, one third, and one sixth to get the probability for x equals two. And now we have uh, the probabilities of all the three X values and we can use calculator. So actually let's do it. X is zero, one, two. So remember it's um, data and we need to clear. So we press data again. So right enter right now it will clear L1 and then press data again and go to L2 and enter that will clear L2. So now everything is cleared. So the first column you remember with the X values, they were zero, one, two. So zero, scroll down, one, scroll down, two, and we scroll down to make sure that it's entered. Okay, and now we scroll over to the right to enter the probabilities. So the probabilities were, one sixth, one fourth, and seven twelfth. So one sixth, one fourth, and seven twelfth. So one divided by six, enter. One divided by four, enter. And seven divided by 12, enter. So now we have everything entered and now we go to second stats and it's one variable stat. So enter, the data is in L1, right? Frequency is in L2, right? Enter and hit calculation. And if we need variance, it doesn't have variance. It has a standard deviation. So that's 0.7592. So we make a note of it. Standard deviation is 0.7592. So variance will be the square of the standard deviation and that ends up being 0.58, which is choice B.